I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important concept. We will try to understand what is the difference between zeros and x intercepts. Now, in this video, I have taken up two multiple choice questions and then we will answer the question explain differences between zeros and x intercepts. Let me share with you the two multiple choice questions and then we'll explain the differences and get back to their solutions. Well, here is question number two, which says, the number of zeros and x intercepts for y equals to 2x times x minus 1 whole cube times x minus 4 whole square are how many? So there are five choices. You can pause the video, look into these choices, answer, and then check with my solution. Here is question number three, which says, the number of zeros and x intercepts for another equation, a polynomial again, are how many? So once you understand the concept between zeros and x intercepts, it will be easier for you to solve such questions. So let's begin with the very first question, which is to understand differences between zeros and x intercepts, right? Now, let me explain like this, that uh, zeros could be imaginary or real. Now, the real zeros are actually treated as x-intercepts. So, these real zeros are actually treated as x-intercepts. So, I hope that clearly says everything about zeros and x-intercepts. Well, there's something more to it, and that is related with behavior of the graph or behavior of graph near x-intercepts. Now, this is this is very important concept. The zeros also provide us with some additional information, right? So let's look into uh, zeros' uh, capability of providing us with some additional information. What kind of information does zeros provide, which is means missing from x-intercepts? Well, let me take uh, three different scenarios to explain this and I'll also tell you what x-intercept is right and then what zero is now if I draw a graph something like this let's say let's say something like this now in this graph what do you notice well, clearly what we see here, there are a couple of uh, x-intercepts. So, these are the x-intercepts, right? Wherever the graph crosses the x-axis, those are the x-intercepts. Okay, sorry, y, right? So, the x-intercepts are these three, right? Wherever graph crosses or touches, now, these are also zeros, but zeros have an hidden information which you could read that comes from the order of zero and sometimes we say multiplicity. That is how many zeros are there at that x intercept. So what is this multiplicity? That really tells us how many zeros at x intercept. That is the order or multiplicity, right? Now, this kind of a curve which goes like a straight line, let me show you again. The kind of a curve which goes like a straight line, now here we will say 
the order is 1 yeah so the order is 1 for 0 it goes like a straight line right so it's like a linear curve right now if I have something like this kind of like this it bounces back do you see that so here we have two zeros we say multiplicity is 2 right now it behaves like a quadratic function just terms if it is x to the power of 4 there will be four zeros or we can say 2 or even we can say even in general even number of zeros right in general multiple of 2 however if you have something like this on a graph right that signifies you guessed what right so odd number of zeros so the multiplicity could be 3 5 7 9 whatever higher the number of zeros flatter it should be when you sketch a graph perfect so I hope you get the concept so clearly zeros could be imaginary or real real zeros also represent x-intercepts but they have additional information that is depending on the order or multiplicity of the zero you know the behavior of the function near the x-intercept if you have one zero order is one it behaves like a linear function if you have even number of zeros it turns behaves like like a parabola right turning right the turning point and if you have odd number of zeros then it goes like this it decides to turn but moves on so it is not a turning point we call this shape as a tilde so it goes like this right now so with that I hope it's clear what is the difference between zeros and x intercepts now we'll take up those multiple choice questions and answer them one by one okay so question number two for you is the number of zeros and x intercepts for y equals to 2x times x minus 1 whole cube times x minus 4 whole square are how many now to get the x intercepts we are looking for real zeros right so x intercepts means real zeros kind of right so wherever the graph crosses x axis or well, let's say where y equals to 0 right so those are x intercepts right so those intercepts are x intercepts correct right so y will be 0 for x minus 1 whole cube equals to 0 and for x minus 4 whole square equals to 0 so we have two x intercepts one at 1 the other one as 4 correct now one is x here also so you should not forget that so the next component is also x equals to 0 right so there are three so the other one is at x equals to 0 there's 2x component, right so let me write 2x equals to 0 so that gives us three x intercepts now how many zeros are there how do you find number of zeros number of zeros is always equal to degree of polynomial important is that clear now here the degree is how much 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 2 plus 3 plus 1 equals to 6 so number of zeros are 6 so 6 is the number of zeros and 3 is the number of x intercepts we get c as the correct option is that clear right so so what really happens is that at each x intercept here the order is let's write down the order here the order is 1 here the order is 3 and here the order is 2 so basically there are two zeros at this x intercept so the graph will turn like a parabola vertex and here the graph will go through without turning and here the graph will be like a linear function at the x-intercept so I hope that concept is absolutely clear right 
So that is how we treat zeros and x-intercepts. Zeros has the additional information of behavior of the function near the x-intercepts. Now here is the test question for you. You have to pause the video, copy this question, answer, write down your solution. I'll check and provide you with the correct solution. Now clearly, if you look for x-intercepts, how many x-intercepts do we have? There are only two x-intercepts, correct? One is at x equals to 3, the other one is at x equals to 4. Now this x square plus 1 will not give you any x-intercept since x square plus 1 is equal to 0 only when x belongs to imaginary numbers, right? Not real numbers, correct? That is when x is equals to plus minus square root of negative 1, which is plus minus I. Here you clearly see that zeros could be imaginary. That's the whole idea, right? So we do have zeros which are real or imaginary. Do you understand? But x-intercepts are only real. So as you see, zeros could be real or imaginary. So this example clearly shows it. Now how many zeros are there. Let's again check the degree of polynomial, right? So, so what is the degree of this polynomial? Degree of this polynomial is 1 plus 3 plus 2. 1 plus 3 plus 2, that gives us 6. Therefore, the number of zeros are 6. So which option is correct? So we have in this particular case 2 x-intercepts and six zeros. So I hope with this you understand the concept of zeros and x-intercepts. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.